mine came sliding way over. It doesn't feel great. Yeah, it wouldn't look out my passenger window. You're looking down and it's there's like nothing to stop you on that way side. Way down. What's up guys, we're over at Epic Adventure Outfitters this morning, getting some new tires on the Bronco. Toyo wanted to see what we think of the new Open Country RT Trail tire they got, which is like a hybrid, mud terrain, all terrain type tire. Christian, what do we know about these tires? Uh, I saw them down at the Expo, they look pretty cool. Uh, they look like a an improved Ridge Grappler, realistically. Even though they're made by Toyo, but they're the same company, so. All right, we are on our way to South uh, Central British Columbia. Uh, do some proper testing of these new tires. One thing I've noticed is about a 50 to 75% decrease in road noise between these tires and the mud terrains, which is to be expected. So let's get on some dirt and see what happens. I got Bruce, Denny, and Tom with me, and it's gonna be a good weekend. We're starting our journey this week taking a ferry, and then we'll have to put in some miles to get to the trailhead, where we're hoping to do a loop route over a crazy alpine ridge. Nice. Rained overnight, so it's not going to be super dusty. The ridge is super good. Hopefully the clouds lift. It's going to be a good day. Oh, what do we got here? Uh, I think they're old uh, logging housing, I guess, camp. So they're basically like school portables that they dragged up here. And I'm gonna say they don't have any plans on dragging them out. So Typical. there's some, some bathrooms and some questionable things, but it's worth poking around. See what kind of disease you can catch. <laughs> Why do I keep finding rat habitats everywhere? It's a, that's a rat condo. I mean, that's, that's, that is that's a, rat a prime condo. real estate for a rat. <laughs> can you go inside, Denny? I've been inside already, and uh, I don't think I'll return. Yeah, no, it's, it doesn't... The shop is a little nicer to walk around in. Yeah. yeah. At the other end there. Is that a VHS tape? That is, in fact, a VHS tape in all its glory. Super XG. <laughs> Weird. Rectangular tubing. Mm -hmm. They're cool. Old documents. Mm -hmm. There's an old truck uh, back window here. What's in the fridge? Oh, nothing. Here we go. January 95. So this is probably last used in the 95-ish yeah. period. So we're gonna head further into this mining area and, uh, and check that out before we go up and over the mountain. Apparently it's a pretty cool area. So we'll see what we find in here. The fog was thick on this morning as we headed into the trail. The fall has definitely set in, and it creates a completely different atmosphere here in the mountains.
anymore. <laughs> Iron rich, obviously. Found some old mining stuff. We got core samples here. It's a core sample. Yeah. These are the trays that they, uh, they put all the core samples in. If you ever find it intact like this, usually everyone just pulls them out and like they're racked all over the ground and it like wrecks it in a way that you can't discover any, but I'd love to come back here with a couple hours, pull them out, have a look at them. You never know what you're, you find. Like I find ones with gold and stuff through them. But really? Yeah. It's just not worth anything, but if you ch <laughs> check the logs, match it to those numbers, find out where that, oh, right here. There we go. You're the keeper. Oh yeah. There's gold in that. That's actual there. gold. You can't have them, they're all mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. It's uh, mining. Yeah. Hey, the clouds are kind of starting to peel off. I'm it is a little bit. Yeah. I do feel good about it. We usually have good luck. Oh, we've never not we've had never good had luck. bad luck. It's like the last time I went out with you, we had no. to drag your truck out. <laughs> bad luck is not my middle name. No, so. no, it's uh, your middle name is unnecessary risk. <laughs> yeah. already... It's crazy that they don't have to clean all this stuff up. So much equipment left behind. Danny found a mining cart. That's cool. They get a little grim. The ride wouldn't be very good at the end. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I know. Yep. Look at this. Got a, a mine cart in here. See what we can see. The fact that they had ventilation means it's probably not a good idea to go too far in. <laughs> Look at the tracks, that's so crazy. Yeah, it's rare to see a mine cart. Like, there's a cart right here. And that's at like 7,300 feet. Oh, good. So, if we could loop this through to oh, that'd be, um, Hailstorm that'd be Ridge, yeah, that'd be, that'd pretty, be a pretty cool. epic loop. There's actually old ventilation even up there in the hillside. No, that's why I told you you're good. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's what you meant by there's ventilation. Always I'm, push it. Yeah. That's that's the rule. Like, when you're in remote places, yeah. just oh, go yeah. for it. Absolutely. Yeah, especially where it says keep out. Too, yeah. That's, uh, To get further, we'd have to find a route over the mountain through a maze of old shelf routes, some of which are incredibly steep and narrow.
first road was a dead end at a lookout point. Oh, found the top of the mountain. There's the mine site down there where we were. Not bad. I don't often use epic. It's pretty epic. Pretty epic. We're above the clouds, almost some of them. I not, mean, not all of them. If you're gonna have clouds, this is about as cool as it gets to have clouds. Look at them like, swirling around over here. Yeah. We made it up to uh, as high as this road goes, which is pretty awesome. This seems like uh, an appropriate time to, to give you my presents. We have here the new uh, oh, the new merch. Dang. We got the new Story Till Now t-shirt and hoodie. Sick, thank in you. In XL, which I assume is your size. Yeah, I can get in there, you know. Dang. Big on the back. Sick, thanks, man. New merch, new store drops today. After this video, 9.30 a.m. TSTN.shop. Super limited quantities. I, did, I put a lot of work into these, making sure they were all super nice quality. Get all the, the layouts and designs myself. Uh, we didn't use a drop shipping company. I spent a bunch of money and, and got it all made. I have boxes of this stuff in my house. I'm gonna be shipping shipping it out to you guys by myself with my wife. So we're doing it all independently and uh, appreciate your support guys. We got hats as well. So check it out today, tstn.shop, let's go. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, we're trying to get to 300,000 subscribers this year. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. If you like cool like shelf roads and mines and and uh, Denny, we're heading up one of these ridges on the other side of the mountain here. Up and over that, which should be really cool. So let's check it out. These old mining roads up here are super cool. Very high elevation, narrow, rocky. It's just uh, exactly the kind of stuff we look for. And we're going to try and loop over to another mountain pass on the other side of this valley. If it connects and turns into a loop, it's going to be super cool. So we don't have to go back out the way we came. But the left is the cut across the meadow to the road. This road was barely wide enough and was putting us on some very uncomfortable angles on the side of a cliff. You can see from this dash cam inside Denny's rig just how intense these angles are. <laughs> Tom's face. Oh my god. That little dog's a little slippery. Hang on to it, man. Yeah, it doesn't feel great. Um, I, yeah, I wouldn't look out my passenger window. I have a lot of experience with driving shelf roads, but this one is probably one of the most uncomfortable I've ever felt in my vehicle. Yeah, and that's why you're gonna have to go just another little, just a tiny bit more driver and then just inch forward and I'll see what it does and I'll let you know. Yeah, it looks like you're gonna hook up fine. Just go slow. There is that lot of rot that they dug in, but pretty good. All right, now you're just, you're good. Uh, just go, you can go at your own pace. You don't have to go driver anymore. You're on the plateau. I'd still stick a little driver though. 
Yeah, and just keep going straight towards those two little trees on the in front of you. Okay, there you go. Perfect. After doing a, a shelf road like that, where you feel like you're gonna slide off the back of the road, it's uh, time to put on the hoodie. Yep, we need <laughs> one of these. Yeah. Can just go scope it out. Well, I mean, we know what down was, and that's not great. I don't want to go back if we don't have to. That so sucked. If we can pick a way, then and yeah. we'd be on the downside. Yeah, my rear end came sliding way over. Yeah, I did a couple crab walks where you're like, I hope that tire's in the rut. <sighs> and like you're looking down, and it's like there's nothing to stop you on that way side. Way down. That that one does not feel good. Like some of those angles weren't that bad if you were in a field, but yeah. when you're leaning towards. Like you literally can't see the road. Well, and you right can feel door. your tire sliding towards the edge, and you can't tell how much space you and got. You can watch your driver's side tire going. Did not like. If we got to do that again, I'm gonna need more underwear. Yeah, I'll get in a better position to spot too. Scouting out the trail on foot because that shelf road was extremely sketchy. The sliding towards the edge did not like. No, this is impossible. See, we'd have to be in that rut there. We'd have to ride that rut because we can't bump out. We'd go over the edge. And so we'd be so high on the angle on this. We'd have to be up here. Walking it, it doesn't feel terrible. You have to trust the groove if you do it. Because if you try to get out of the groove, it's, uh, like it's, my uh, concern is what's past the next couple switchbacks. Yeah. Can you guys not fly and check it out? At least get a rough we, check. We could, but it'd be, it's pretty hard on the drone to tell how wide a road is. Well, and it's far. But the chances of it getting bad are, are pretty, pretty good. <laughs> it's like I mean, it's already bad. A couple kilometers. Well, and I tried from the other side where we're trying to go out, and I didn't I see. I thought any. it was bad. There was no road. No. Okay. Well, this is a no-go then, I think. Like I think we gotta go back to where we came, unfortunately, which sucks. I love eating pickles, but I hate being in them. I feel like this will be easier on the way down because we'll have a better view of where the edge is. downside, yeah. So, it probably won't be as bad. Maybe keep the sway bar connected and... Yeah, I don't have those. Yeah. With the route forward not looking any better, and chances of it being a dead end high, we reluctantly made the decision to go right back down the way we came. Bronco does not do well on angles and very often ends up three wheeling. Something that I really dislike about it. I don't feel confident at all in the vehicle in these types of situations, which is frustrating. that shelf. That was not a fun one. Will this be another way? Road's looking pretty rough. Oh, hey! Hey! Nice. Oh no. Over this way. Back behind us? No, here. Like. <laughs> because there's a remnants of a road there. I think where it drops off there is where it washed out. I can see a road down there. I know, that's the kicker. Whatever it is, it's overgrown to the point where we can't find it. We've hit three dead ends so far trying to find our way to uh, the other side of this valley. Washed out, or. The road's just no good, not wide enough. So we have to backtrack a little bit and head up a different trail to get to where we want to be. But we'll find a way. We found another way. The trail's a little tight, but that's okay. 
Okay. Let's see if we can make it work. The road started climbing again quickly, and it looked like we'd be able to cross over at the summit. found ourselves driving right along the very top of the ridge. We made it to the top of this peak. The rest of the ridge here is a single track ride only for sure. So <laughs> we have to turn around, uh, but wow, this ridge is insane. We're gonna drive back across it. few twists and turns and forks here so I started tracking our route on Onyx Off-Road just to make sure we can find our way out if we need to. Oh there's they're probably seeing if there's they can get anything out of it and then they close it up when they're done. 
Look at this ball. Pretty cool. Bit of a recent active mine here. It's been filled in. We're heading down this way. It's always satisfying when an idea turns into an actual drivable route. This road in particular used to be unknown as it was widely overgrown, but has recently been cut open for mining purposes, making it a smooth ride out. After multiple dead ends, trying to find uh, this would be an amazing connector for all the people living over here, like in this valley to access all that stuff too. I think we found the way out. <laughs> Alright, Bruce and Tom had to head home. Denny and I found a nice lake to camp at for the night. Well, Denny's found this lake before and uh, showed it to me. It's a nice spot. So, we're going to set up here and uh, enjoy some rest of our evening lakeside. Should be good. He should be very good. This morning, we found these rail tracks just coming right out of the mountain. Look at that. There must have been a mine up there. Let's see what else we can find around here. It's raining a little bit. Just give me a bit of a rate of passage at this moment. There's an old cabin here. Maybe a mining cabin? I guess, but... Wow, oh, this would have been nice back in the day. Right next to the lake here. A little patio. The oldest initials I saw was 81. There's an old stove. The chimney. Door. Look at that view. This is an old wood fired stove and oven. Maybe just a stove. Pretty neat. Floor's not very level anymore. <laughs> so cool. Someone probably built this and then was doing mining up in the hills here. It's the birth date of this person, but it says 1937 on here. Really? That must be somebody's birth year. Yeah. This wouldn't be in such good shape. I love these trips where we're just out chasing history and finding pieces of the past long forgotten out here. This is really what I live for. Okay, thoughts on the Toyo Open Country RT Trail. First time taking it out. I think if you are using your Jeep as your daily driver and you're doing mostly forestry roads and, and camping and stuff like that, you want a little bit more aggressive tire than your normal all-terrain, this is a great option. If you're doing the kind of stuff that we usually do, which is stuff where you need extreme traction, I found that these lost traction a little bit uh, quicker than the mud train, which makes sense. It's got a smaller lug on it, right? So 
that's not a knock on this tire, it's just a different tire for a different purpose. I could feel the, the rear end kind of sliding on the road. But I love that these were a little bit quieter on the highway, quite a bit quieter on the highway. So it's a good tire. I would definitely take this over a regular all-terrain tire because it's just a little bit more aggressive. So you're gonna get a little bit uh, better off-road performance out of it. All right, guys, I'm on the way home. Make sure you guys check out Bruce and Denny's channels. Links in the description. Also, merch drop happening right now. TSTN.shop today, 9.30. Let's go. Super excited about this stuff. Thank you so much for all your support, guys. I will see you next week. Peace.